So in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing the new Cranes release, the John Peel Sessions. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Phil, a big Cranes fan. I was recently very excited to see that they're gonna be playing again after quite a few years of them not playing. And I don't know if you're familiar with this band. They uh, were formed in Portsmouth by brother and sister Alison Shaw and Jim Shaw. The lineup has changed over the years, but back in the early 90s, they were pretty big on the alternative scene. A lot of their music is quite atmospheric. The lead singer, Alison, has quite an unusual voice. If you're a fan of Cocteau Twins, Liz Fraser's voice, obviously, very distinctive as well. I would say Alison Shaw's voice, also distinctive, and kind of eerie, haunting, Beautiful. I think there's so many words that can describe her voice. It is an acquired taste though, I will say. There are people out there who don't like her voice because it's kind of childlike. It's quite hard to describe actually. If you give them a listen and come back to me and leave a comment if you're not familiar with the band, um, I'd be really interested to hear your views. I think they're amazing. I think they're such a great band. Uh, this is the new CD uh, and I've also bought the vinyl as well, which is the John Peel Sessions. It's released on the Dadaphonic label, which Cranes have released uh, albums on in the past. And it's two John Peel Sessions, uh, one from 1989 and one from 1990, uh, featuring a lot of their early tracks from Self Non Self and their first album. But anyway, I'll uh, leave all the details down below if you want to pick up a copy yourself. Some of these are now out of stock. The coloured vinyl I couldn't get hold of, so I've gone for the black vinyl. Um, but hopefully with their forthcoming dates that they've announced uh, when they play those, maybe they'll get some more in stock. I've got a funny feeling the coloured vinyl might be permanently out of stock um, and sold out. But anyway, let's open the CD. Now, I got into this band... I think it was early 90s, possibly 1990. I think I heard the John Peel session that has been released on the CD and I was just transfixed. I love the music anyway, but I thought Alison's voice was just so unique and so, like I say, distinctive. I really loved the harsh, abrasive songs that they released and also the really tranquil, beautiful songs too. Um, a lot of the tracks are kind of piano led um, quite soundtracky actually. Uh, if you're a horror fan, you'll probably love Grains. I'm not saying that all their songs sound horrific, but a lot of their songs do sound quite nightmarish. Um, read some brilliant reviews back in the day, I think in Melody Maker and Enemy, who described their music as sounding, I don't know, like, like, like a horror soundtrack. Brutal, industrial, I guess. This is the CD. So it opens up, gatefold, very nice packaging. So we've got a description of the lineup at the time of these John Peel sessions. Alison Jane Shaw on vocals, Jim Shaw on drums, bass and guitar. Mark Francoom on guitar and Simon Tufnell on bass. That was the first session. The second session from 1990, Alison on vocals, Jim Shaw again on bass, drums and guitar. And Matt Cope also on guitar with Matt Francoom on guitar too. Uh, produced by Dale Griffin, engineered by Mike Robinson and recorded at Maida Vale 3 on the 13th of March 1990. And the one before was recorded again at Maida Vale but Maida Vale 5 uh, on the 9th of July 1989. A uh, big shout out to the designer Chris Big and the person who did photography is Louis Philippe Kuna. As you can see, gorgeous artwork. 4AD style and obviously a BBC recording with the track listing. So great, great to have that as a gatefold and not just a single sleeve, cardboard sleeve. So there we go, the CD. Again, same artwork. There we go. And the vinyl. Let's open the vinyl. So same tracks on the vinyl seven tracks because we got four tracks on the first session eg shining focus breathe star blood and till tomorrow and on the 1990 session dada 331 give an inescapable i think inescapable was the first track i heard from cranes 
and I, it just blew me away. Just found it really powerful. And at the time I was into, I mean, I still am into bands like Susie and the Banshees, The Cure, uh, Front 242. I remember really liking a lot of the kind of uh, atmospheric bands that were on 4AD, like Cocteau Twins and The Small Coil. So I think if you like those bands and you haven't heard of Cranes, I think you'd like them. So here we go. Let's open the vinyl. Now I'm quite excited about this because back in the day I used to collect a lot of Crane stuff on vinyl. Over the years I've lost so much stuff. And you're probably thinking, if you're a Cranes fan, how have you lost their vinyl? I don't know how I've lost my vinyl, but over the years I have. So much stuff has gone missing. I don't think it's because I've lent people stuff. Because I don't think I would have lent a lot of my treasure vinyl. I think I've just stored it maybe at my parents when I've moved countless times over the years. But anyway, I'm, I'm starting to collect a lot of the old stuff that I did buy at the time, back in the day. So here we go, vinyl. And I think it might be slightly different artwork to the CD. No, it's the same artwork as the CD. But it is gorgeous. I mean, look at the font and the illustration. And on the back, I'll show you when it's taken out of the wrapper, actually, because you'll probably be able to see it better without the shine. So this is going to go straight into PVC once I've taken this out, just to protect the sleeve. I don't know about you, but it's a real bugbear of mine when I get new stuff, obviously mint condition, when you first buy stuff, that the inlays or the sleeves are damaged. Sometimes you find that the inner sleeves where the vinyl goes in, it's obviously hit the, the paper and it's you know made a hole. Um, this one doesn't have an illustrated inner sleeve, it just comes in a normal paper sleeve. But there we go. So that's the back and the front. Let me just check if there's a download inside. I don't think there will be. No. No download. But I have got it on CD. Um, and like I say, it's not the coloured vinyl, just standard black vinyl. So, yeah, really excited to see this band when they're playing. I haven't got tickets for their show in London this year, but I have bought tickets for their show in Islington next year, 2024. Um, but I'm on the waiting list for the show, which is in October, I think, later this year, because um, I'd really like to see them in 2023. So there you go, Cranes, the John Peel Sessions, 1989 to 1990. Go and buy it, because it's great. I've already listened to it on uh, Apple Music, and I'll leave all the details down below of where you can buy the vinyl and the CD. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our previous unboxing video that you can see on the screen now. I'll see you next time.